We have to talk. Some of you may know that I am in a long distance relationship with my girlfriend. So we've been together for a little over a year, maybe 13 months, one year, one month. And we've been apart for almost six months now. And everything's going well. Everything's okay. But it still begs the question, is loving someone without being able to physically share your day or share your experiences with a wild goose chase? Or is it genuinely possible? Let's find out. Okay, so first, let's start with the numbers. 14 million. 14 million couples claim that they are in a long-distance relationship. Now, let's drill down on that 14 million people. 125 miles is the average distance of couples in a long-distance relationship. 1.5, 1.5 days average that they get to visit each other per month. 75%. 75% of engaged couples were once in a long distance relationship. 4.5. 4.5 months is the average amount of time before a long distance relationship breaks up if it's not going to work. 40%. 40% of couples who are long, in a long distance relationship break up. Okay, now that we have the numbers away, let's talk about experience. So, as I've said before, I am currently in a long-distance relationship. My girlfriend, Krista, is working in Los Angeles, and I'm here in Manila. So, that's, I think, a 16-hour difference, depending if, there's there, they, if there is daylight savings. I think it's 17 hours. So. It gives us little room to really communicate and she works shifts so it makes it more difficult. Now I always get questions like how do we do it? How do we keep the relationship alive? Now before I answer that I want to tell you guys about my experiences, about our experiences during this long distance relationship. I went into the relationship with Kristen knowing that she had plans of uh, working abroad. It's not gonna be permanent, but it's gonna take around six months per contract. So given that I still, you know, I was falling in love. So I told her that it's okay. I'll wait for her. I know it's kind of sappy, but it's how I felt. So I had to be real to her and tell her that it's okay. Now, during the first seven to eight months of the relationship that she was here, everything was good, everything was going fine. But as the relationship grew, as my love for her grew, as the feelings grew, so did the anxiety. The anxiety of her leaving, of me being so used to her being next to me. Like, we go on trips, we hang out a lot, and then just suddenly... It will change, but it's not really that sudden because I already knew that she was leaving before we were even together. So now for a person like me who's always stuck in my mind, I overthink the things. It was very, very difficult. And mind you, my love language, my giving love language is physical touch. And that made it all the more difficult for me to accept the fact that she was gonna leave for a long time. Six months doesn't seem like a long time, but it is a long time when you're the one experiencing it. And sometimes I do feel like time is flying by, especially when I'm busy, especially when I'm doing things. But it's so difficult when that you go home you want to tell someone about your day, even if it's through text, it's because even through text or through call, it's difficult given the time difference. But going back to the fact that the anxiety was growing as the relationship was growing, it became difficult for 
us as a couple, but Krista always found a way to calm me down, to make me feel relaxed. She reassured me that everything was going to be okay, that we can do this, we can fight through it, that it will be a testament to our relationship, to our relationship once we survive our long distance relationship. Fast forward to the day she left. Now, during that day, I thought I was fine. I went to her place, picked her up. We had lunch with this, with her family at Resorts World. Everything was going fine. We hung out, we had fun, we were laughing, we were taking pictures. And then when we were at the airport already waiting for her flight, uh, I still felt fine, I still felt relaxed. And I thought to myself, them, it's not as hard as I thought. Boy, I was wrong. Now, when she left, when she went in the airport, we can't go in because only people with tickets can go in. So I had to go back. I was walking back to my car. And as I was walking back, it hit me. It hit me like a freaking train. Bam! It's like, ah. I started, my, my eyes were starting to well up already. And when I got to the car, it took me like another 20, 30 minutes before I could leave because I couldn't stop crying. Yeah, look, at, it was so hard. The feeling of being alone started to take over me and it was difficult for me to recover. That's why it took me another 20, 30 minutes before I could leave the parking lot of the airport. And yeah, it sucked. It sucked so bad. All right, fast forward to when she was already there in Los Angeles. Uh, mind you, she left November. So typically, in general, things at work was starting to slow down because it was we were heading to the holiday season already and work typically kind of slows down for our team during those seasons. So given that, we were able to talk a lot we were able to update each other a lot, especially me. Uh, we had a schedule. But then, after the new year, work started to pick up. And I also picked up a new hobby that I wanted to turn into a business. Uh, it actually started like as a tool for me to... to to help me cope with the fact that she was so far away. So I started photography and videography first as a hobby and to help me like cope with the fact that she was away. But it started, I started to learn, I started to get better. And as, as I started to progress, the more I wanted to practice, the more I wanted to practice, the more time it took away from me, from, from me talking to her. So, everything was starting to not really fall apart but you can feel like it was heading there we were fighting and it we were fighting not a, we were fighting often so it was just difficult time because it was i got i found it hard to balance my time but then i had the chance to take a step back uh, this was during February, so I was given the chance to take a step back, reassess my plate. Was my plate really full or did I just need to rearrange things in my plate? So when I started to think that, I started to realize that I have to give time for Krista if I wanted to make it work. And during that time, I started to find pockets of time wherein I get to talk to her. I scheduled filming, practicing will be nighttime when around like 6 to 10 p.m. and she was asleep. And then when she woke up early, we get to talk a little bit before I went to bed. And then I get to uh, talk to her during lunch break. 
and now that I'm working from home I get to talk to her a little bit more so in my mind I was starting to draft like a schedule like when was the best time to call her when was the best time to practice photography and videography work was fixed it was still eight hours but I was able to find pockets where in I knew I could talk to her so it worked really well for me we're starting to everything was starting to feel like man this could really work not not that i thought like it wasn't going to work to begin with but it was more of the feeling like i finally found my footing we found we finally found that sweet spot wherein we can do what we want for ourselves but at the same time dedicate time for each other and it's it makes me so happy that i did not give up and i know there were times that it was easier to give up but we decided to fight through it we decided to give ourselves the best chance to to keep the relationship going because we knew we knew in our hearts that we we love each other, each other but uh, sometimes it makes you do you know the saying that sometimes love just isn't enough and I know some of you will disagree but I believe that love is strong but you need to have that extra step that one level above love like it's the time it's trust because in long distance relationships yes love gets stronger but when love gets stronger but you don't get stronger as an individual it will start to consume you it will start to obsess you and it's not going to be healthy so you guys if you're in a long distance relationship you have to work on it together I have, I'm lucky enough to have people around me who are going through the same thing. I have a friend that she's been with the guy for like five years and I think four, four out of the five years it's been a long distance relationship I and mean, imagine that. And it gives me like the hope that it could really work out. Now four years versus what I'm going through that it's like six months six months six months she goes home six months she then she leaves for another six months it's it's difficult because you know it's all relative and for someone like me whose love language again is physical touch who I'm always stuck in my head which I'm trying to change and trying to improve it's it's difficult it's more difficult for me so to wrap things up i want to share with you the things that i've learned while i'm in this long distance relationship one is to always have a plan make a schedule uh, make it the point to have time for each other because communication is so important especially for her part she was the one going into a different environment uh, she was the one who left her family behind. She was starting from scratch. She was, it was so lucky I mean, that she got to go there with her best friend, which helped her a lot. But still, she, she needs, or whoever the person is going away, they need, they need, un, they need to be understood that sometimes they're going to be really clingy and that's okay just be there for them but you also have to communicate with them when it gets a little bit too much for you because you don't want to give too much out for in you don't leave anything for yourself anymore so that's one so two is to anticipate changes anticipate those changes that can mess up your routine that can mess up your schedule that can maybe take away from your communication time you have to anticipate it you have to be ready to adjust because if you don't 
you might it might get bad real quick uh take it from me we experienced it i wasn't able to anticipate changes i thought that my schedule last november will be the same all throughout until she comes back which isn't the case uh schedules changes so quick and we have to be ready for that we don't want to get too complacent we don't want to get too comfortable because comfort is what will kill a relationship i believe whether or not it's long distance or not so there that's number two three is trust trust is such a big thing it's not just trusting each other that you won't be cheating on each other that you there won't be any third parties but it's trusting the fact that the both of you are working on the relationship that both of you are working to make the relationship successful it's trusting that the promises you made each other will remain unbroken it's trusting the fact that every day that you are apart it's a day closer to you being together again so you have to trust trust the process trust each other trust that everything will be okay and that trust that everything will make you stronger as a couple stronger as individuals and trust that it will prevail that patience will prevail that your love your trust for each other your respect for each other will prevail at the end of the day and last but not the least is to put god at the center of your relationship it's helped me a lot uh, especially the the past month that i was starting to feel super anxious every day uh I started to I was starting to slip I was in my mind a lot and that's when I really turned to God for me uh, I started to pray for her I started to pray for myself I even started to uh, worship more and it really helped me and it made me realize that if you put God at the center of your relationship it will become stronger, so much stronger than what you thought. It will bring you to different levels. And yeah, it's so important. And with that, uh, I bid you guys goodbye. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Comment if this is something you resonate with. And see you at the next one. Peace.